Hello class, so welcome to Introduction to Philosophy. Right now I am about to get into a description very briefly on the uh, syllabus and uh, we're looking at the fall 2020 semester for Introduction to Philosophy. Okay, uh, so my uh, contact info here is at the top of the syllabus. Um, I offer you my phone number, so you're welcome to call or text me. And then likewise, I uh, also have so-called email by way of D2L. The uh, thing to know about email on D2L is really <coughs> that it's otherwise known as internal messaging. So oftentimes I'll refer to email, uh, know that it's otherwise known as internal messaging, okay? And I, I'm going to, by the way, have a, a screencast that I get ready as well that will accompany this video so that you'll have a way to uh, navigate through D2L and help you get some of the basics of how to uh, work through the class, okay? So, so that will be upcoming as well. Uh, let's see, so I have an opening paragraph what is philosophy? Let me just read that really quick. Um, what is philosophy? Philosophy is the love of wisdom. It is derived from the ancient Greek word philo philosophia. But what does it mean to be in love with wisdom? To be in love with wisdom involves a deep curiosity about the ways in which we think and act in the world. Philosophy is about looking underneath the surface of things. It is a search into the deeper meaning of things, which in turn enables us to better understand our everyday lives. It is often correctly said that philosophy is about asking questions, but it is not just about asking questions about anything. It's about asking questions about the way we rationally and irrationally think and act in the world. I want to say something really important there, and that's that it's not just about asking questions though. It's not just that philosophers are walking around, what's this and what's that and what do you mean with that? And it's more, you're asking the questions, but then you are also coming up with answers for those. And so these questions, the, the way that you're asking questions is not just random, it is also getting us to understand things better in terms of our basic understanding of the world, right? And so in terms of our basic understanding of the world, we also can think of that in terms of metaphysics. So when we're understanding metaphysics, we're looking at the relations of things. How is it that we understand freedom and determinism, for example? Uh, how is it that we understand existence or ontology? Those are ways in which we're understanding interrelations, freedom, free will, etc. right? And uh, that's metaphysical. So we, we think that way already. We understand the world that way already. It's just that we're not commonly putting words to that mode of thinking, right? Then likewise, we also have uh, ethics. So ethics is the way that we understand right or wrong. So we're already, already, we're already working with the way that we understand right and wrong. We just don't put words to it uh, in a way that we articulate how do we understand what wrong, right and wrong actually is? How does that work with myself in respect to individuals in the world? So on and so forth. Uh, so we're going to be looking at ethics uh, in this class as well, and uh, that's really important. Uh, likewise, epistemology, the study of knowledge. How is it that we're working logically? What is reason? That question, what is reason? That really could be what this class is. It could be otherwise known as introduction to reason, because we talk a lot about reason, and one of the reasons why is because it is extremely difficult to understand because it's so highly abstract what, is, what, we're, what we understand reason to be. Um, then, uh, let's see what else I have on here. Epistemology, ethics. Uh, we also have aesthetics, too. So aesthetics is the way that we appreciate beauty or the way that we're understanding taste as it's relating to emotion and experience as well. And so when we're thinking about that sort of thing, we're also understanding the world philosophically. Oftentimes we're not putting words to that. 
but in, in philosophy class, we do put words to how we are working aesthetically, how we understand uh, the world aesthetically. Um, then obviously another couple ways that we think of philosophy in terms of our everyday life is by way of religion. Um, so faith also is something that it has a relationship or a disconnect with reason as well. Um, and then likewise, uh, politics. So understanding uh, political science it also is philosophical, right? And so there's all these modes of philosophical thinking that we're just not used to uh, putting words to show how it is that these things are understood in our daily lives, okay? So, so that's uh, basically uh, an, in uh, the, an introduction to that first paragraph here that I have. Um, so turning, continuing, we have the course catalog description, statewide learning outcomes, topical outline. We need to know these things and they're written down on the syllabus. So don't be afraid to look at those. Student learning outcomes here. Uh, we need to know that stuff, but know that um, it could be found on the syllabus. Then we have the points breakdown. That is uh, something that you'll find in the grade book. And uh, our grade, uh, your, your total grade is uh, based on 1,000 points to get started, or excuse me, maximum. So in other words, a, a perfect straight A is 1,000 points in the whole semester. And you'll find that in the grade book. Uh, moving on, late policy. This is really important here. Uh, with uh, late work, I'm going to offer, this semester I'm offering one late work uh, free. So in other words, you could have one free late work and anything after that I'm going to apply a 20% point reduction off of the maximum score. Uh, that also applies to essays, any assignment, uh, and also the exam if there's any problem being late for the exam. And you got to let me know in, as far in advance for that sort of thing. Uh, as possible because the more planning we could have with this, the easier it's going to be to work through. Um, last thing you want to do is not take the exam and then contact me uh, after that because that puts me in a rather precarious position. Um, so yes, uh, then attendance and participation. Know that attendance and participation online is linked to the work that you do. Okay, so in other words, the work that you submit is a way that I know that you're present in the class. And then likewise, uh, the uh, synchronous meetings, and we're gonna have some more details on how we're gonna organize the synchronous meetings upcoming in our announcements uh, in the next few days. Okay, I'll have the details there. And we'll be meeting via Zoom and doing group work there, et cetera. Uh, as far as assignments go, usually we'll, will be varying from discussions to assignments um, and there are really three major papers in this class with a midterm and a final exam but even those major papers are usually pretty short okay uh, and uh, I'll have all the details coming up uh, uh, forthcoming how to come to class prepared. One thing uh, I always forget to mention because I'm not used to the online experience is that uh, the uh, technical difficulties are not an excuse either for uh, um, having um, uh, missing, missing work. So in other words, do not uh, send me an email you know, two days after the assignment was due saying, you know, su suggesting that you had some kind of technical difficulty and you couldn't turn in the assignment. Uh, so because uh, what you really should be doing is getting a hold of IT and taking care of the problem and uh, taking it from there. In other words, I, uh, I'm not IT, so I'm not gonna be able to help you m m more uh, beyond uh, the, the, the philo philosophical content, that sort of thing. There are some technical things I can help you with, but if you, ha if you do have major technical problems, you need to take them to IT, okay? Uh, let's see, let's turn the page here. How to get helps outside the class. Okay, so this is, um, this is taking me to uh, the 
point that we don't have a textbook in this class as well. So most of the way that we're going to be getting content by way of is by way of D2L and uh, uh, PDFs. So in other words, all of the reading in this class is going to be by way of a PDF that I will uh, link you to in uh, our uh, assignments. Okay, and. One thing to know too, and I'm going to have more details on this in the screencast, is that with the uh, with D2L, we're going to be using that content tab, and that content tab will take you to the respective uh, discussion or assignment, and that's where you could find the PDF that you need, etc. Okay, and that will all be clear as we work through, uh, etc. And then that also tells you too that. This class, with this class, there's going to be a lot of reading, right? And so, in uh, it, because we have a lot of reading, that is uh, important uh, to note as well. Um, I'm running out of time, so I want to um, make sure that I'm getting everything else. Technical difficulties. Uh, I think that's about it. So why don't we uh, take it from there? Like I said, I'm going to have more details in the screencast and uh, uh, also uh, upcoming uh, announcements. And yes, so welcome to Introduction to Philosophy. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.